30 degrees outside, or 32 I think it was actually. Um, so this is the screen that was on originally. I don't like it uh, for lots of reasons. It stands way too upright, almost vertical. So I have a little bits that sort of curl around, um, which I kind of get, you know, it's supposed to be a screen. I don't like those either. So basically I'm going to try and chop it down. Let's have a look on the bike. So this is, it was fitted something like that. Obviously the headlamp is bigger, the clocks were much higher, but it used to sort of sit like that and I kind of, you know, get it to a point, um, but not one of the prettiest. So it's already got a bit of a curve there, which fits very nicely the five and three quarter inch headlamp. I need to chop a little bit out of here to accommodate that little spot lamp, which is just there really because it looks a bit quirky. And so I'm looking to trim it down these two lines here, just to give it the original sort of look of the motor guzzy kind of uh, lemon, that sign of a kind of little headlamp fair inch uh, sort of shape. Uh, I kind of thought it would come from here and, and be much, much trimmer. Um, but I'm gonna give it a go first by just taking those ears off and uh, and see how it looks and uh, then I can use the original locating holes if not I will just move them around to here I've got to make up some new brackets and I'll pick up the uh, the headlamp mounts from there so let's get the Dremel out and have a go so yeah that looks a little bit better still got a little bit of a flare here um, not opposed to that see how it looks um, but certainly I think it's slightly more attractive. Obviously I will um, tidy it up a little bit with curves and things, but uh, the loss of the ear, which doesn't come round far enough to make a proper screen as such, just looks like, as I said, an ear. <laughs> right, do the other one. One ear. <laughs> Right, there she goes. That's, uh, that's not too bad. Um, changes the shape and the look a little bit. I did this with uh, a DR wall that uh, when I first bought the screen, it was massive. It looked hideous. And I chopped it and crimped it and chopped it and chopped it and then I put a little lip on it and then I didn't like that and I took that off. And, um, and overall, the end result was very good. So um, we'll try that out and see how we get on. There's the screen that I ended up with on the, the Diavel, which was very, very much smaller. Uh, it didn't do a lot, but it provided a little bit of uh, shade, if you like, for the clocks. But um, yeah, no, I was very pleased with that in the end. So, it's mid-October. It's cold, it's damp, it's been raining for two weeks. <laughs> and uh, finally, now I'm going to get a chance to uh, have a look at the motor guzzy again. So back in July, I had uh, a couple of hours, so I made a start, um, which I'm gonna sort of be looking at this uh, screen which came with the bike, just to make a little tight um, clock screen, very sort of slim uh, affair. But so let's have a quick look at that. There's the results. And uh, so I've chopped off these odd looking ears, which were very strange looking things. And, uh, and I've cut in round the, uh, the spot lamp. 
Uh, I've not, I've, whilst I've smoothed them out, I've not finished, done a finished edge or anything like that because um, I'm still sort of playing around with it and I could end up uh, with a, uh, a nice little, uh, very, very, very slim Brazilian. <laughs> or if I cock it up, maybe uh, a Hollywood. Most people will know what that is. Right, so there we have it at the moment. I'm not sure these bits are going to do anything at all. The clock, the profile of the clock is there, or the dash is there. And I just want to provide a little bit of shading on the screen. And at the same time, a slight profile which sort of comes out. So I think I'm going to chop off from about here across to there, maintaining this same sort of shape, but without these little. Uh, wing things here so i got rid of the ears now i'm going to get rid of the wings uh, and then i'll have to remount some new holes here make some new brackets up Right, so I think that's probably the finish shape, not the most imaginative, I guess, but uh, it um, obviously it, it can't be any bigger than what I had. And I'm only just looking for something just to push the air over the top of the clocks. And as you can see there, here are the, the wings and the adjustments that I made to just change that shape. Um, just doing it sort of bit by bit. So let's have a look at it, what it looks like on the bike.